Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carace.net, and this video is going to be reviewing Thick Buttons keyboard for the Android operating system. Um, this video is one in a series competing, having 10 keyboards compete against each other. Uh, these keyboards are all going to be running on the Verizon Fascinate, currently available from Verizon. It is running Android 2.1. And again, all these videos are going to feature a very short intro of the basic features of each keyboard in the first two minutes or so, and then everything after that is going to be the more advanced features, going into some settings, and things of that nature. So uh, make sure to look for the pop-up bubbles on YouTube to see when it changes from basic to advanced so that you know when to pay attention or to stop the video if you'd like. So let's jump into it. So again, this is a Samsung... Fascinate by Verizon. And we'll just go into our messaging app and kind of show you. Okay, so Thick Buttons has popped up right away um, to, in, to basically activate Thick Buttons. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your settings, your languages, and keyboards, and then just make sure that there's a green check mark next to Thick Buttons. Um, on the Captivate and maybe other Galaxy S's, I know you just have to select one from the from the input bar. You don't always have to go there, but again, you just hold down where it says type to compose, you select your keyboard, and again, we're gonna be using thick buttons for this one. So again, the concept behind thick buttons is just that as it predicts what word you're gonna type, it enlarges those buttons. So let's just type dinner and a movie tonight. As you can see, as I get further along in the word dinner, um, the button gets as big as possible. So, dinner. Come on. Oh, maybe. There we go. And again, you can click on the words up in this autocomplete bar, and that'll insert the word and put a space afterwards. You can also, as you'll see in a second, tonight. See how I haven't spelt tonight yet up there, but it's already highlighted in orange right there. You can just put a period, and it'll automatically insert the word and a period right after. So that is Thick Buttons in a nutshell. Again, um, not a lot of extra things here. You can do smileys, you can do attachments, blah, blah, blah. But again, Thick Buttons mainly just enlarges the buttons for people with a little bit more, with a little bit larger hands than normal who don't like the swiping method. Um, but want something different than the standard, you know, really skinny keyboard that's available on the Android as a stock keyboard. So now we're going to get into the advanced features. So if you want to pay attention, uh, keep listening and tuning in. Otherwise, check out one of our other videos detailing one of the other nine keyboards you're going to be covering in this article. So to get to your thick button settings, again, you're going to go back to your main settings screen. ThickButtons offers actually some really nice stuff. Uh, Contacts Dictionary and SMX Dictionary is really handy because it, again, searches words for your, from your contacts and SMS folders for, let's say, words that aren't normally in a dictionary, like slang words, maybe proper nouns of family members, like Kristen that's spelled with a K or Kristen that's spelled with a CH, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's really useful because it can already add it to the dictionary so you don't have to you know type it a few times and add it for it to remember. The growing dictionary is nice for Thick Buttons because it uh, shares your new words with other apps, um, which is convenient and not all keyboards do that. Some keyboards do keep the words that you type into them exclusively to themselves. Um, you can change enlargement from little to moderate to significant, so I'll show you a demo of significant since you've already seen moderate. And then the kind of standard stuff, vibrate on key press, sound on key press, auto capitalization. Um, Quick fixes can sometimes just change, you know, like two letters being typed out of sequence. Uh, so suggestions, again, that's that bar that kind of appeared with orange highlighted words. And the autocomplete is, again, adding spacebar and punctuation, making it, so, sorry, excuse me, spacebar and punctuation automatically insert the orange highlighted word and then a space or a capital letter afterwards. So that is the thick button settings. And let me just go quickly into it to show you what the, again, enlargement at significant looks like. So let's go back and let's just type in dinner real fast to see what that looks like. So we'll just hold down. We will select all. 
delete it real fast and then again so now as you can see everything gets pretty small and as you get further on again dinner is the buttons are I would say maybe 10 to 20 percent bigger than they are at moderate and then obviously they're gonna be way more than if it's at little um, again this is the thick buttons keyboard displayed on a Verizon Samsung Fascinate running Android 2.1. Check out our other nine videos for more reviews on keyboards. Kind of see all their shortcuts, their settings, and all the different features that they can offer to make your Android experience one of a kind. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to check out the article on carace.net.